Yeah, that was awesome. That was like, I was not faking it, okay? I'm not banging my head like this just because, oh, the camera's on, I gotta show people I'm moving or something. I'm not really thinking that way, like I'm just, the move. The music moves me, it's pretty genuine. How, do, how about you, did, did it move you? It's so funny, I was thinking while I was watching this, when I grew up, I didn't think, uh, like I grew up through the 70s, right? You know, and most of the music came from America, came from Britain, you know, Australia or whatever, you know, these mostly English music we listen to. And uh, I never would have imagined that uh, ja Japanese, uh, that out of Japan there would be so many amazing metal bands, like progressive uh, tinged, some metal, you know, some outright progressive. Uh, of course, that's what the channel's focused on. So I, I, I do appreciate you giving me uh, Japanese songs, even if the band's not specifically progressive metal, to give me the songs that are more leaning to that, because I really enjoy that. But this band I really enjoyed, this is not, you know, I just thought of, what was his name, that guy uh, who did all the classical music? I didn't think of him once during this video, that's the point. Uh, this is a uh, guy who, who, who's Yangmi Malmsteen. I didn't think of him once, okay, until the video's over and I'm just talking about it. Thank God, because it used to be he was the one who was, uh, you thought of instantly when you think of a guitarist playing uh, on a strat, you know, playing a, like a violin concerto, like little, 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 like the sweeping kind of fast, fast notes, like sort of like uh, analogous to a, a violinist, a concert pianist, or concert violinist. So I didn't think of him. You know, like the the, Japan, the Japanese culture, you guys are, you guys are nailing it, man. You're, you're really, you're taking a lot of some of the inspiration from uh, metal from wherever it originated, and you're really making it your own. Uh, I would say there was a bit of a Japanese flavor to the composition. I don't know what it is, but there is a certain key or something that's sort of uh, part of the Japanese music. When I hear that, it reminds me of that key. And I don't, I'm not, see, I'm not super, I'm very much a self taught musician. So a lot of this I'm just talking out of instinct and everything. So that's where that's coming from. The solo was so good. That was amazing. I mean, he did, and it just kept going and going. It's the gift that kept on giving. And it was a nice extended solo. It was a really well written solo. And uh, and and it really had a, a good flow. It kept peaking and still going on and on and opening up. And it was a really well written solo. And, and, and gosh, how intimidating that would be uh, for me. It's like, okay, here's your solo. You got you know, you know, two minutes of the song here. You got to fill it with a solo. Whoa, okay. But uh, because the song was sort of uh, based right off of a classical feel that you know, they had these concerto uh, uh, of classical musicians there cello violin and all that they were kind of uh, picking off right off of that you know and taking off of that and i love that i was really original didn't think of Melm Melms melmstein once it's got its own fresh tone uh, i love the video too filmed in the church the way they filmed up to capture all those tall windows so the, the the, with the painted windows and stuff. Uh, they're not called painted windows. What are they called? Ah! Come on, brain. Anyways, um, and the singing was top-notch. What a great singer. He has such a... Uh, it does remind me of Steve Perry, kind of, you know, that kind of... Uh, it's not really operatic, but it's very powerful, very masculine, too. Just so fun. It was just a really, really fun song. And so peppy. So peppy. It just... Uh, you can't not get uh, catch the spirit of that song when you put it on. You know, if you're ever down the dumps or something, and or you're low energy, put that song on. That'll prep you right up, It'll spike spike you up. So thanks for watching as me react. If you got any more Galenaria songs you want me to react to, leave them contents or the content. Not the content. Keep the comment below. Okay, spiraling out is Dean. Talk to you later. Bye.